Hey, it's a Steel Lodge. Today we're looking at Cyberpunk 2077 with max settings and ray tracing, running on the Steam Deck with a solid 60 FPS and great battery life. Now you might be wondering, how is this possible? Well, we're actually running on the machine behind me, which is an RTX 3090, and then streaming it directly to the Steam Deck. We're actually using an application called Moonlight instead of Steam's native uh, Steam Link streaming. Moonlight just works better. I'll be putting up a video soon as well regarding Moonlight, how to set it up on the Steam Deck and on your local machine to get the best performance. So make sure to subscribe for that. Let's jump into Cyberpunk.
Outside of Afterlife, it's very clear which one is the Moonlight version with the ray trace reflections and just overall better shadow quality that's more accurate. Here we have a close-up of Claire and NPC, and in the background, you can see that the shadows are missing where the bottles are actually kept on the left side in the native application. The do not cross tape is also much blurrier. As for Claire herself, her hair rendering is higher quality on the right side, as well as the shadows being softer and more accurate, and the texture just being better overall. The signs in the background of the bar, such as the monkey, the El Coyote sign, and the 18 plus sign, are all much blurrier on the native application. In the hall exiting the bar, the graffiti on the right side is a lot clearer, as well as those textures on the ground, on the kegs, and even on the exit sign. You can also notice up top that the light is more naturally affecting the surrounding in the right image than the left one. The effects of ray tracing are very apparent in this shot when we're panning up outside. In the puddle in the moonlight version, we can see that the reflections are nicely rendered for a 720p image. And on the left side, the reflections are just really blurry when we pan up. I'm actually gonna pan over to the right to here and it's also very apparent that the RTX AO is affecting the geometry that's up against the wall versus on the native version, it looks like it's just floating there and there's no shadows sticking it to the wall. Now we're in the courtyard outside and it's very apparent the difference between native and moonlight here. Here we have the moonlight image, there's more NPCs around, the shadows are richer, they are more apparent places where they should be, and the sun coming through the palm trees looks much better, as well as the geometry in the whole scene overall. Cutting back to the native version, everything looks blurrier and much flatter. Thanks for watching the video. I just want to leave some closing thoughts before we wrap it up. I'm not a fan of game streaming. Services like Google Stadia never appealed to me. The latency is one thing and just not owning my own game library. Having my own native hardware that I can stream locally from is great though. And the latency for Moonlight is fantastic. Playing at 60 FPS on Cyberpunk actually feels better through Moonlight than just playing native uh, latency wise. And obviously the battery life is far improved too because the native hardware for the Steam Deck does not need to work as hard. Another thing is that the images in this video might not have been the highest resolution and that's just because the output for the Steam Deck is about 720p. So sometimes it's harder to make up the differences when the resolution is that low. But on the handheld itself, instead of a big screen, if you're watching this on like a monitor or a TV, on the handheld, it's really apparent and it looks so much better. That's about it. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys and I'm just doing it with my free time. I hope you appreciate them. Subscribe, please. And I'll be putting up a Moonline Gate soon. Later.